Hello guys, so we are doing a little bit of practice with weight at thresholds. This is a great behavior to start practicing in a more neutral threshold of your house. You can practice this behavior going in and out of the bathroom, in and out of a bedroom. Might still feel a little bit silly at first, but uh, the benefit of that is you can build a little bit of success and some muscle memory for yourself and your pup um, without all of the emotional baggage of a front door or a side door or a back door. Um, depending on your pup, that emotional response might be from overexcitement because going out the front door is where, the, where they go on walks, that's where their humans come home, um, so it's all really positive feelings. Um, for other pups, the front door could have a huge fear response um, or an anxious response because that's where the mailman lives, that's where the boogeyman might be, it's kind of a mystery door, anything can pop out. Um, so, him and I, we've done a little bit of practice in a more neutral spot of the house, and now we're practicing with a door um, that I think is going to be a little bit more of an intermediate step for him. We're ready for this, this practice. So, we're going to do a little bit of a demo here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a couple of treats, I'm just going to stock them in my hand here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to approach the threshold, I'm going to say wait, and I'm just going to put a treat in his mouth. I'm not going to give him a lot of chance to think about what we're doing just yet. And wait, yes, good job. Wait, yes, okay. Giving him a cue that he, it's okay for him to walk out that threshold. You could say okay, you could say free, you could say all done with me, whatever you want to call it. And wait, Okay. You notice how I'm practicing also going from outside in. For a lot of dogs, if you're struggling going from inside out, um, change it up and go outside in. That feels a little different to your dog and you can build some success in a doorway that has a, a stronger emotional response uh, without all of the excitement of, oh, we're going on a walk, oh, we're going on a car ride. Um, it's a nice way to help build some, uh, some success in a doorway. Wait, yes. So what do you do after your pup can wait at a threshold like this? I'm going to start adding in some movement. So, yes, I might just move my leg a little bit. I might tap my feet. Yes. A lot of dogs, as soon as you start motioning or orienting towards the door, they're already going out of it. Um, whether because they're anticipating really exciting things or they just have a history of rehearsing it. And you build up to maybe you can step out. Yes, good job. Maybe a full step out. Yes, good job. Okay. I'm really taking my time here to build some behavior. I'm not trying to walk out my door five feet and have my dog wait. Wait, since this is a, a, a not as nearly as strong of an emotional response, uh-oh, we walked. So I'm just going to reset him. He made a mistake. No treat if you have to reset your pup, but go back and make it a little easier. Yes, good job. I might be able to build a little bit more behavior. Okay, going from outside in because we don't have that huge emotional component of going out. Wait, yes, good job. Uh-oh, I dropped a few. It's okay, he's still on the inside of the doorway. Him, wait. We moved, we might have moved ahead a little bit too far there. Wait, uh-oh, we failed again. I'm gonna make this easier. Kind of the general rule of thumb I follow is if your pup fails three times in a row, you need to make it easier. It doesn't do them or you any good to fail over and over again. Yes, it's really frustrating for both of you. Yes, remember your dogs don't know English. You have to be really, really clear about what a word means. Can wait. Yes, good job. Build a really nice solid foundation on this behavior and you can, uh, you can go really far with it. Yes, I'll take that. He didn't motion outside. Okay. Notice too, I'm using a leash here for management. Wait. Okay. I'm not using it to jerk his head off. I'm not using it to correct him. All I'm using it for right now is to prevent him from bolting out this door if a dog walks by or a person walks by something exciting. We don't have a ton of practice with this just yet. Um, so I want to make sure I'm using a leash here to keep my pup safe. Um, it's just here for management. It's not here for a training tool. And behavior, I want to be able to bring groceries in and out of this door. My pup can happily wait inside um, where I'm not needing the leash. But right now, 
and using it for his safety. Um, all right, guys, get to work. Have some fun with your pup. Uh, you can try working with their kibble, high value treats, whatever is successful for your own dog and what they find rewarding. Keep your training session short. It'll keep you motivated, keep them motivated. And keep in mind, if you're not having fun, your dog's not having fun and they're not enjoying this part process. What's the point of having a dog if you can't have fun with them? Huh? Ham's just like, give me some more food, lady. All right, guys, enjoy.